Hey, uh, this is Pokeball35, and welcome to the next big playthrough Let's Play thing on the channel. This is my first time ever playing Banjo-Tooie, also known as Banjo-Tooie Blind. I don't know how many people still use the blind uh, thing, moniker. I wanted to say moniker, but I don't even know if that's the right word. People use the blind moniker in their YouTube titles anymore, other than just, like, first time playing, but I'm still calling it blind because I have not played this game before. Uh, four months ago, uh, I guess when you're seeing this on YouTube, five months ago, also thank you, uh, Katsuya Sagar uh, Sagarara, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, thank you for following, you do the thing and I very much appreciate you. Um, five months ago, when you're seeing this on YouTube, uh, I had played through uh, Banjo-Kazooie for the very first time, and I enjoyed it, but it did have its problems, uh, namely... Uh, Clanker's Cavern is still the worst 3D platformer stage I've ever played. Um, but on the whole, it was still a very fun adventure. Uh, I know a handful of things about Banjo-Tooie, like a couple bl plot details here and there. Um, I know there's like an Aztec temple kind of thing that I think is like the main hub. I tried to find like any image at all to use for this, because for Banjo-Kazooie... Uh, I used, like, Spiral Mountain with, like, Gruntilda's, like, big face on the mountainside uh, as the thing with the Banjo-Kazooie logo. Like, the only thing I could find for an image for down here <laughs> was just, like, the Banjo-Tooie box art. So it's just gonna be the zoomed-in picture of Banjo until they find something else to put there. Um, <laughs> but I still have the logo there. Uh, but a couple plot things, not too many things. I know there's, like, one way to get a Jiggy in this game that's really annoying. If you enjoyed the first one, you're going to have a blast with the second. Uh, I, I've heard that this is a very divisive game. Uh, a lot of people just prefer Banjo-Kazooie, and a lot of people uh, like Banjo-Tooie more. Uh, but it, I think the general consensus is that like Banjo-Kazooie is the better game. But I don't know, because I have never played this one yet. Uh, so if you have not seen the playthrough of Banjo-Kazooie, I probably recommend that you go watch that one first before watching this one, because this takes place pretty much right after that game, if you want to see me play through that one. It's only 11 episodes long, so it's, like, barely anything. Um, but this is all being streamed live at twitch.tv slash pokeball35. Link in the description if you have not already followed. Go do that, because this is being streamed live right there. And subscribe to the YouTube channel if you have not done so already. I have this thing paused, but I'm going to unpause it. Uh, resume, but then I'm going to quickly click the reset button. Uh, just so it plays the full intro. So... I had opened up the game and skipped the intro cutscene just to make sure my controller worked. Uh, and my controller does, f in fact, work. I think th they're the first, like, hour of the first Banjo-Kazooie stream. I was having controller troubles. <laughs> but we're good. So, Banjo-Tooie! It is here. This is a 2000 game. And, uh, for reference, I believe Pikmin released one year after this game came out. <laughs> also, this game feels very loud all of a sudden. Uh, it was not this loud in testing. I'm gonna lower this, like, a little bit. Game is divisive. I enjoy it personally. We shall see. So there's where we ended the first game. Uh, we defeated Gruntilda on the top of her tower. She fell down and a boulder crushed her, and Klungo is trying to get her out of the boulder. Or out from underneath the boulder. It's still moving. I don't know how she's still alive. Uh, stop spoiling me. Stop it. So here we go. Here is the file select screen uh, for controls for this game. Uh, I had originally played Banjo-Kazooie with my GameCube controller because I did not have an N64 controller. Since then, I mean, I did have an N64 controller. But that's just the point. Uh, for this game, we are actually playing this with an N64 controller. If you did not watch my full playthrough of Kirby 64, uh, the Crystal Shards, I played it with this. Uh, I have bought an adapter uh, to use an actual N64 controller, so this is like a real, actual controller. Uh, Nintendo did release a Bluetooth wireless N64 controller for the Switch. I wanted to buy that because it's Bluetooth and can obviously connect to my computer. Except, it was $50 and sold out every single time I checked. Uh, the adapter I'm using is like a, a Mayflash adapter that was like 20 bucks, 25 bucks. And I already own N64 controllers because I own an N64. I just never owned this game and played it. Uh, I think like all the N64 games I've owned and played are like Paper Mario, Mario Kart 64. 
and that's it. I do own uh, Donkey Kong 64, but I've never played that either. I know emulation of Donkey Kong 64 is iffy, so I don't know if we'll ever play that. Um, unless it comes to NSO, and then I might buy that. Uh, but the Fio Select screen is a little bit more bare bones than the first game. It's not like Banjo around his house. Um, I do like the fact that there's like a honeycomb TV and uh, Banjo Tui being played on an actual N64 in there. Um, for some reason, when I'm hovering over the picture frames, it's making Minecraft place, sa place sand noises. So I guess it's just a royalty free sound effect that was used in Minecraft because it's apparently being used in this game. Anyway. We can start the game. So, we're starting the game. <laughs> Thank God I don't have an hour of controller troubles because that was really annoying. <laughs> Two years have passed since Gruntilda the Witch has was defeated by Banjo and Kazooie. For me, it's been five months, but that's fine. I wasn't gonna wait two games. Uh, we became neutrals on Twitter recently. Oh wait, after falling from her tower, she was buried underground where she remains to this very day. Uh, I play a lot of different things. You probably just, hold on, tab out for a second. I'll just do social. You can check out my YouTube channel to see a bunch of other stuff that I play. And if you go on Twitter, you see my Twitter banner. It's also on uh, Twitch. If you go there, it'll show everything I'm currently streaming at the moment. Uh, anyway, it's a dark and stormy night. No good, mistress. Still can shift rock. I don't remember what voice I did for Columbo. Ah, uh, because of that stupid bear. He's been there for two years. You say in two years. Bumble, play well. As much of as cash. He's right, Kazooie. There goes your bird seed, buddy. Where, Kazooie? I can't see her! really casual about that, huh? Because it was like, Grunty's coming, and Bottles is like, where? That's a drill. Stop rocking the table! You're making me sick! Bumbo, not rock table. Whole house shakes lots. Perhaps one of us should go take a look outside. <laughs> Very long intro, but I'm bound for it. Uh, no problem. It looked really good. It just randomly popped up on my timeline. I'm like, I'm gonna like this. <laughs> so, you follow me, I'll follow you back. Ah, hurry, Blobelda. Our sister is waiting. Ah. Uh. 
I see. Quickly, we must go or an angry Grunty will be. Then get off of me, you must or uh, you must or I move something. I didn't read that fully. <laughs> it stopped now. I wonder what that was. Sure was noisy. Let's go take a look, Kazooie. Mumbo, much brave. Me go look outside. Back in a minute. Six money. Kazooie! Sorry, mistress, I have failed you. Very grunty mustn't get you out your sisters, Will. Big Rock is so... is so powers we something. Grunty sisters, you should not mock. Now watch our magic blast this rock. and boulder blaster. There goes the boulder. And, and now it's just it's just vaporized now. I don't want to see that. God Rock has come out now something. No, no, no! This cannot be! What's happened to little old me? Nice grunty looks, lost weight you have. I hate bones, a body I need. Can you help with this, little deed? Yes, plan to help we have. So back to our castle we must go. That doesn't rhyme. Right then, girls, let's fix me up. Then Banjo's hairy butt, I'll whoop. That also doesn't rhyme. This not good. Me go tell Banjo. Ah! Seen us, Bony Man has. Him we must whack. Leave him to me. He's no hassle. I'll kick butt, then off to the castle. But she cheated, Kazooie. That's not... Everyone. <sighs> Must run. <sighs> Quick. Grunty coming. Revenge is mine. I cannot miss. Let's see that furry fool dodge this. No joke. Look. Spell coming. He's right! Quick, everyone! No! Why would you want to leave the house with the spells coming towards you? I'm not falling for that trick again. I'm staying right here. Well. Harry, you must. Ready to leave, we are. Hold on, sis, I'm nearly there. I've just been to blast that... I've just been to blast that bear. 
Troops. Uh, we will leave. Destroy area, they will. And away they go. Stop. Wait for me, Mistress Grunty. No, no, Clunko, you stay here. I'll be back. Have no fear. This intro has been like 10 minutes long, and I'm surprised they pulled this off for the N64 to have this big of an intro cutscene. This was like one of the last games released for the console, I'm pretty sure, because again, Pikmin came out the following year. Oh, Bumbo's head hurts. <clears throat> well, at least everyone got out safely. It's much unwell. It's worse than that. Grunty's killed poor bottles. <laughs> Kazooie. Grunty wrecked whole house and killed bottles. She must pay. Bear and bird get after it, which. Bumbo, see you later. Oh, uh, I have a feeling it's not going to be so easy this time. Well, that's how this game starts. Welcome to Spiral Mountain. Hey, I was the star of Banjo Kazooie. Who's going to help you now? I'm dead. Wow. I mean, I know like there's death to play video games. Just like, <laughs> look at my best clothes. They're all burnt. So, uh, several things I know about this game going in is that I did know about Grunty Sisters. Uh, I do know about Skeleton Grunty. Uh, I do know about Bottles being dead. It's just really funny to actually see it happen in the first two seconds of gameplay. Uh, the other thing I know is that Banjo-Kazooie is actually a good video game. And by that, I mean that it's you don't like lose all of your moves. You just get more moves. So I have every single move that we had in Banjo-Kazooie right from the start. Um, so like... I can do the eggs, I can do like Talon Trot, like immediately. Uh, I don't I don't have any of these things, so I can't necessarily do those, but like, it's still, I can do Talon Trot, so. Now I have to relearn the controls though, because I was playing on the GameCube controller last time. So, uh, but all of the controls are the exact same otherwise. So I have all of my moves, which is cool. So like, that's, that's a cool thing that you can do that. Um, Hey, I was- yeah, you said that already. Except now I gotta figure out how to camera. So I have to be using the C buttons now, and not like the C stick. Fish. Help, I was knocked off the b barbecue and ended up under this rather weighty boulder. Please get rid of it. I can hardly breathe. Um... Well, I don't think there's anything I can actually- Unless I can, like, unless I do the... No? Alright, well, that's all the moves I remember from five months ago, so... <laughs> Klungo is very upset. <laughs> Stupid barren bird coming. Me wait for them in here. 
The only problem about me wanting to play this game with an N64 controller is that it's the fact it's an N64 controller, so I have to, like, you know, hold it like this, and, uh, it still feels really weird to hold a controller like this. I have no idea why they approved this design for a controller. Uh, but, uh... Uh, which village would you like to know more about? Oh, so he can still tell me. I guess camera. Press the buttons to move the camera in small amounts and hold the button to rather uh, move the camera. Press down to go between the distances up to use Banjo's eyes. Yep. So there you go. Well, we still can go around Spiral Mountain. The honeycombs look different. Pick up honey and boost your something. I didn't fucking see what that said. I don't know who that character is. Could you stop that? I'm trying to kill. Hello, Jimble. Welcome to the stream. I would like to kill this enemy, please. Thank you. Also, hello, Dami. Welcome to the stream as well. Is this gonna in infinitely spawn things? It's just infinitely spawning things. Oh, these are feathers. Gold feathers are used for another ability. So yeah, we can just get that back. Uh, uh, I want to back out of that. Okay. So yeah, this is just it reteaches the moves. If you never played the first game or you forget, uh, that's where you get them. But I remember. So, draw oh, using eggs as ammo. I give you a lot of eggs to start with. Pretty much like a full set of eggs. This is very weird because it's like in it's like inverted camera controls with the C button. So I'm pressing left and the camera's going right. And I don't like that. Uh, what we can do though is fix it because we have the power of input settings. And I can do C left be C right and C right be C left. Stop it. My mouse is still on screen. There we go, that's much better. Is that actually, that's, that's a rare box. Um, actually, that might be a problem because now I have to press, I have to press C right to do Talon Shrot now. Uh, I'm gonna hope that's not gonna be a problem. I'll just fix it later if I need to. Nice, fragile rare boxes. Well, here was Grunty's hole. We can go in the hole. This is where she was this whole time. Very thick. This game has too many things to do. I only know a handful of things about this game. Not too much. Red feathers all needed for Kazooie. Do fly. Okay, well these guys suck. So we're just not gonna bother. You got a hundred eggs? Uh, is the whole bridge to Spiral Mountain just, like, gone? Like, can we just not even get to Spiral Mountain? Like, climb up Spiral Mountain anymore? These eggs respawned. Uh, okay, no, it's still there. I'm just curious about all this. I don't know why these things are respawning. Oh, but the bridge to Gruntilda's Tower is gone. But we can still climb up. So I'm gonna do it. You can't stop me. Oh wait, we can fly though. Oh, they let me fly around Spiral Mountain. That's actually dope. Hold on. Oh god, the flying's a little bit different, though. What is this? Okay, well, nope, that still damages me. I gotta relearn things. Let's still do this. Oh, shit! Oh, it's Cheeto! You must have found one of my missing pages. Collect five, then return them to me in Grunty's old lair in Spiral Mountain. I remember Cheeto. Interesting. 
I like that Banjo turns green when he is about to do the big jumps. I never liked the flying controls in Banjo-Kazooie, uh, and these controls seemed even more bad from what I when I was just flying. Uh, we're gonna try that again. Also, I will be, in this playthrough, using the power of save states. I am not afraid to do that. We did that a lot in Banjo-Kazooie, and I'm gonna do it again here. Uh, another thing I do know is that for the original Banjo-Kazooie on N64 that had that whole note problem of, like, you don't keep your notes when you leave the level and you have to go back and recollect them all, I do know that in Banjo-Tooie that is not a thing, so I'm happy about that. Uh, but I will go to... here if I can. Please. Okay, well, I think it's F7. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to be safe setting more often. Uh, I think we are gonna listen to bottles on this one. <laughs> uh, taking off and flying higher. Uh, look out for the pads with an image of red feathers on them. Stand on one of and then press A to take off. Once airborne, use the control stick to steer and press A to fly higher. However, each time you do this, it will cost one red feather. Please. Okay. So what happened in here? It's the same music, too. Hello again, Banjo. Remember me? I'm Cheeto, the magical spellbook. You're out of luck there. I'm afraid Grunty ripped out all of my pages because I helped you in the last game. <laughs> I'd be most grateful if you could do- if you could look out for them on your travels. <laughs> well, for every five pages you return, I'll let you in on a little secret. You need a cheat? Well, I'm not uh, called Tito for nothing. Sorry, but you'll have to find more pages before I'll tell you a new cheat. <laughs> Kazooie would. Alright, well, we can finally see what's actually behind this, which is feathers. And Wonderwing feathers. Well, sad day for uh, Gruntilda's lair. Right up here, there used to be a Jiggy. Our very first Jiggy. And now it's just egg. Yeah, this whole place is fucked. We can't go up. We can't go to Bumbo's Mountain, which is used to be right back here. That means Bumbo can't go home. Bumbo's just trapped now. I don't know where the heck he went, though. He went somewhere. Uh, save. I'm just gonna... Actually, wait, better idea. I do want to fly. I said I did want to fly. Uh, let's turn the camera. I want to go over here, because I see the, uh, the waterfall. There used to be a one-up behind this waterfall. Is there anything behind this waterfall anymore? This Mumble Mountain's really his home. I mean, it's called Mumble's Mountain. I hear a Jinjo. Hold on. We're gonna do that again. So there was nothing behind the water- behind the waterfall. But I did hear Jinjo whistling. I do recognize the, the whistle. Uh... How high can we go? That high. Um... Can we go on top of Brunty's tower? Wow, you can see the whole thing. It was a lot bigger from the inside. We can 
<laughs> we can land on top of here if we really wanted to. Let's go to a place where no bear and or bird has gone before. Yeah, it was a lot bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. Um, I don't know exactly where I'm supposed to be landing. I, I heard the whistle. Oh, it's flying enemies. They're teaching me about the, the beak bomb. Actually, I see this over here. Can we do this? Is this a thing? I got in the boots, too. Wait. Okay, I thought it was, like, breaking more every time. Oh, there's an entrance over here. Never mind, that's not an entrance. That's just health. Um... Yeah, we got the, the running shoes and the wading boots. Um... I don't know what to do in that area. Because I ran into it and it said, no, you're not allowed. I'm not going to bother with that health. Um... I'm going to keep flying. I'm going to keep trying to find stuff. I know we should probably go to where Klungo went, except... Uh, it's probably one of the only times we'll be in Spiral Mountain for the whole game. Because we're going... I know you go to a new area. Um... We can go here. This is a thing. Please. Oh, that actually is a loading zone. Okay. Hell yeah. Behind the waterfall. Uh... A Banjo-Kazooie Nintendo 64 cartridge. Ah, uh, yes. The greatest collectible. Um... Is there anything else I can do here? We're probably gonna have to come back here at some point when we get even more moves in this game, because we just have all these starting Banjo-Kazooie moves. Uh, there seems to be an area you can go up from here. Um, so this is some nice foreshadowing for whatever this is. You still playing the, uh, Metroid Prime ROM hack that you're doing? Okay, well, I'll save here then. Um, I want to find out where that whistling came from because I heard it. sounded like it was coming from the waterfalls. That's where I heard it from. Um... But I don't think there's too much more to do around here. These grates we can't do anything with. There's nothing here to do. I think there's another one of those weird N64 cartridges. Uh, you can fly past Banjo's house that's all destroyed. Bottles is still over here dead. Ads, they happen. It has, in fact, been 40 minutes since I went live, so there should be one. Uh, I guess we can move on. I don't really see anything else to do around here right now. Oh my god, you go so f much farther in this game with that ability. Um... Wait, there's a Kazooie door. What do you mean, Kazooie door? Help! 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 Uh, well, there seems to be a Jinjo that is drowning underwater right now. Um, that is where the source of the whistling came from. Uh, however, we don't have the ability to open Kazooie Door, whatever Kazooie Door is. Uh, I guess we will go through the hole. Save state. So a whole new place inside the Digger Tunnel. That's the wrong button.
I like I'm still in the talent trot in the cutscene. Congo minion with a mission. Urr, if it isn't the bear and bird who caused so much trouble to Mistress Grunty. Uh, I don't recall anything like that happening. <laughs> you is stupid. You stupid. Glungo uh, is mad now. Your game ends here. Don't eat the glass. Uh. Now Glungo squash. We're, do we're doing a boss fight right now. Hold on a moment. Um. I have been playing this game for 30 minutes, and like. 10 of- 15 of those minutes was the intro cutscene. Oh, I hit him one time. Clever Klongo hide magic shield! Now show my bear special potion! Uh, so we don't want to get hit by that. Well, I hit him and then he goes with the thing. I'm assuming I'm doing damage to him. Can I hit you with the... I'm gonna hit you with the eggs. Alright, well... Never mind, that was the easiest boss fight. <laughs> Nasty bear and bird hurts poor Glungo. You are for Why don't you run off and we'll forget this ever happened? Uh, good idea, <laughs> but you was not seeing the best of Glungo. Glungo coming, mistress. Please beat failure Glungo with broomstick. Pinky. Alright, well thank you for this. Uh we can continue to go where the tire tracks go off to. Uh, there's some other things around here. Uh, just more eggs. In case I somehow ran out of eggs during that fight. Um, trying to see if there's like anything else in this hole. But I do not think there's anything else in this hole. This texture was fooling me. I thought this was a hole, but it was just in fact a texture. Uh, so we're going this way. Ilo Hags, Jinjo Village. Huh. Well, this is a place. I'm gonna get overwhelmed by everything I have to do. What's in here? They're all gone! Come and see me in my throne room! Tell you what happened. This is my palace. Not bad, eh? Just come on in and see the ginster. The ginster. Fair enough. And six smiles like this are so charming to me. I love uh, Banjo's areas. They look really nice. And again, Jimble. Uh, I don't think you were here for like the first like 20 minutes. Um, this is a game that came out in 2000, so Pikmin 1 came out one year after this game came out. For like a time frame reference. What a great jump in console. Still in the town shot. Town shot. King Jingaling's throne room. Jinjos have a big role in this game, I'm assuming, other than just being collectibles. Yo, what's up? I'm King Jingaling, king of all things Jinjo and ruler of this village. 
Your kingdom seems a bit empty. My people were scared away by those witches and their giant machine. I, I kind of like it quiet, but I need to get them all back for the kick uh, for the kickball tournament next week. But it is. There's a big kickball rivalry between the Jitros and the Moles, which means there could be a big trouble if we don't turn up. Oh dear. Exactly. Anyway, here's an incentive for you to rescue my people. Jiggy! I believe you should go see Master Jiggy Wiggy in his temple now. Jiggy who? Jiggy Wiggy. He's the leader of a secret and ancient order dedicated to the mystical powers of the Crystal Jiggy. No, honest, it's all true. He's very important to your adventure, as only the Crystal Jiggy can open the worlds that you must enter. Can you show us the way, King Jiggling? It'll be my pleasure. Whee! Bottles House. Whee! Wait. Wait, Bottles House. Is that, that son? Brother? Son? Ah, oh, shit. So I do also do know about Bottles House. Uh, you can use it. You can see what it does. Not bad for a king, huh? Let's go and find that uh, Jimmy Wiggy then. Meanwhile. Does seem to be a laser. Come on, sisters, time I lack. What's the plan to get my body back? Annoying your rhyming is, so stop it, or we'll not tell. Oh, if I must. Bob, this is. Big ol' blaster built by Minji and me. Life force from ground. Plants and creatures it can suck. Stored in a big tank, life force is. Shower Grunty will take when tank full. Ah, uh, that new body you will have. An evil and heartless plan. I like it. How long will it take to suck up every life force? A uh, not slim you are, so plenty will be needed. <laughs> so start blasting! Patient you must be. Target your first must pick. Hmm. That cursed jiggling has uh, given me the, uh, the furry fool a jiggy. I reckon we should blast the Jinjo King. Auto targeted, uh, targeting Bob has a button you only have to press. Suck and blow. Also, here is your Peepus. You see Peepus? Formed up Bob is so beginning. I was firing something because I was doing Peepus. I didn't want to do it during the cutscene, I was trying to read. Target Bob has hit. Steal life force. He will. Unlucky Bob was there. We just missed. Well. Never mind him. What about that traitor? Jingling. 
my musical deepest. It's musical. Oh, he's a zombie now. That's not nice. <laughs> he's just a zombie now. Oh, the other freaking pet just died. Successful, Bob was jiggling the life force we have. Right then, girls, let's blast the whole island. This we can do, but big charge up, Bob, will need. Hours it will take, and revenge bear will seek. Bah! I wouldn't worry. Banjo's got no one to help him now that that mole and the jiggling are gone. He'll never get to us in time. Little do they know, they don't know. They don't know about the jiggy wiggy.